The Science of Getting Rich was published in 1910. It's an amazing book written by Wallace Wattles. Um, Napoleon Hills later on wrote quite a lot of things that seems to, to be a copy of uh, Wallace Wattles' Science of Getting Rich. I don't know how much Napoleon Hill ripped off from this book or he uh, arrived at the same conclusions. Nevertheless, this is a powerful book and it's a very short one, much shorter than Napoleon Hill, Hill's Think and Grow Rich or The Law of Success in 16 Lessons. And I want to draw your attention to one very short paragraph from that book. Um, about power that will make you rich in a certain way. So listen carefully. Power is at your service and to make each act efficient you have only to put power into it. Every action is either strong or weak and whenever action is strong you're acting in the certain way which will make you rich. Every act can be made strong and efficient by holding your vision while you are doing it and putting your whole power of your faith and purpose into it. Now, you probably need to read it a few times to get it. So if you need to read it again or listen to it again, now focus on every part of this, of this paragraph and every sentence. So power is at your service and to make each act efficient, you have only to put power into it, you know, so you you need to put power in every action you take. Okay, how do you put a power into every action? Every act can be made strong and efficient by holding your vision while you are doing it. So you need to have some kind of a vision. So the point is, if you want to be rich, if you want to be happy, successful, you need to have a vision of what it will look like. If not exactly, then some kind of a vision and you need to hold it while doing it, not just hold the vision at the dinner, but while you are doing actions that you believe that will take you to that vision or while you are working at any job that you have right now. Even if the job is not related to your vision, but you need to hold that vision all the time. Okay? And then you will make it powerful. So, um, whenever action is strong, you are acting in the certain way which will make you rich. And this is based on science. So Wallace Wattles has actually researched that and he concluded that this is science because it works every time. And many people have followed his principles and they work. And I love those principles. They totally make sense and I'm using them. So, hold your vision while doing it and putting the whole power of your faith and purpose into it. So again, not only do you need to hold the vision, but you also need to put your faith and your purpose into it. So that forces you to have faith, to understand what faith is. So you need to study faith, how to improve your faith or increase your faith and your purpose. So what is your purpose? You need to define your purpose and your purpose might be, I just want to do God's work. And what is God's work? Um, well, if you're not religious, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just, these are ju this is just an expression. So it could be helping other people uh, make better life or larger life, as uh, Wallace Wattle, uh, Wattles calls it. Larger life. So that could be your purpose. Or maybe your purpose is to make people happy by singing to them. You decide what your purpose is. Don't make it complicated. Just say, my purpose is to help other people, to do God's work or whatever. Gives you that power, that connection, with this something stronger, bigger, yeah? Faith, you need to have faith. So you need to know that what's happened, what's gonna, sorry, what's gonna happen is what your vision is going to materialize, even if you have no idea. If you don't believe, you have two options. Either make your vision smaller so you can believe it, or find a way to increase your faith. So for example, think about all the good things that have happened in your life, they just happened. Uh, many times you didn't know how, but you made them happen and they happened. Sometimes they, things happen to you, you even didn't expect them, but they happened anyway, you know. So by thinking about those things, you can increase your faith. Faith, desire, purpose, marry that together and you will have um, a winning combination. So put power into every action. How do you put power into every action? By holding your vision while doing it. Not just while thinking about it, but while doing it and putting your faith and purpose into it. So it's a very strong action, lots of power. Like I'm making this video, I am really putting a lot of energy 
in it and my vision of what I want to get from it, even if it's not related to that video. What I'm, for example, what I'm thinking about is about getting money, financing for certain business um, venture I'm, I'm working on right now. I know this money will not come through this video, most, most likely. Uh, it will come from somewhere else. But anyway, that's my intention, my purpose. I'm still thinking about it. And I believe this will come to me one way or another. Okay, so define your vision, your purpose, your uh, mission, desire, and put faith into it and start doing every action with power while holding those things. Okay, let me know what your vision is. What are you going to achieve using this method? What are your desires, your goals? Write it down and then we will check after a month or a year if they have happened to you. Okay, see you in the next video. Take care.